Hello. In this screencast, we're going to take the NetBeans platform Quick Start, written for NetBeans IDE 8.0, and we're going to create it for NetBeans IDE 8.1. So we start by creating a module. It should be called Google Toolbar, and it should have as its unique identifier org my org Google Toolbar. So let's do that. A new module. Call it Google Toolbar and org my org and then Google Toolbar. So this is a unique identifier by which this module is known internally within the application. So that is being created. And then let's see. So here is our module and we have all of this. You can see that. So here are our files. So we have that. So let's create the action. And the action should be always enabled. And file. It should be a global toolbar button. And here are some icons. So let's save this on disk. So Google PNG. And save image. Google 24 PNG. So we're going to create a toolbar button. Fine. So right click, choose new action, uh, click next, Google toolbar button, we'll put it into, where shall we put it? Into file, and the position can be really anywhere, but what you see here is it should go before new file. So that's fine, click next, and what do we see? We should give it the name Google Action Listener. Okay, and display name is Google, and then we browse to our icon, and here it is, and the other one is picked up, so we have our 16 by 16 and our 24, and what is the next instruction? To click finish. So there we go. What happens after that? So we take a look. Okay, let's see. Okay, I don't like this font very much that I have by default. I'm going to change that in fonts and colors to Consolas Bold and let's make it 18. There we go. That looks a lot better. So, uh, what's the next step? Oh, so we need to run this. I just see that button. And do we put any code in yet? No. So we just run it, and then a new instance of NetBeans will start up, and we see that module installed. So what will happen after that? Okay, we'll create a JPanel form and Google Panel. Okay. So let's take a look at the progress here in the output window. And you can see there's another one starting up. Don't want to import. We just want to see our module in a fresh installation of NetBeans. That's what's happening right now. So after that, we'll create a new panel called Google Panel. And this will be the toolbar. We'll use Presenter Toolbar down here. And let's take a look. Yes, Implements Presenter Toolbar. Okay, so here's our button. So the button is showing. So now we need to change the representation of that toolbar to a panel. So let's do that. So I add a new new panel called Google Panel. And we'll make it look a bit like a toolbar in terms of its width and height. So here we go. That's all fine. And we want to have a label in there. And it will say Google. And we want to have a text field in there. 
all nice and easy. Where is our text field here? This text field. And we'll align them with each other. Center to column. Okay, put this up here. Put that along here. And let's also make sure that the text field will resize. So I click on it and I'll click this button over here so it will resize horizontally. Press F2 and we can delete the content here. So now we need to hook up these two together. And so we have um, this. So first of all, let's go to our Google panel. And here we put that code. Okay. Make this bit. And let's see. Okay, so here. Control I, Control Shift I, import. Uh, well, let's not do copy and paste then, I guess. Let's just remove this and create some space. And do a try catch. So here's the try catch block. And in the try, we want to have this right to the end. So, paste that, and this should be a bit better. We add imports for this, we add imports for that, and URL encoder. It's all looking good. So here we have, seems like, one long statement, so let's just make this two. And... Here, show URL, sure, let's put it like that. So it looks good. So there'll be, uh, from our text field, we'll get a text. And we'll display that using URL displayer, which is a NetBeans platform class. It's get default show URL. We can say here, show URL external. So either internal or uh, this is the internal browser, potentially. Um, and external forces it to be the external browser. So that's fine. That's all good. So the next step is to use the presenter toolbar. So we go into Google Action Listener. Control Shift Enter to make this a bit bigger. Implements. So now extends abstract action and implements presenter toolbar. So no matter what we do at this stage, when we look for presenter toolbar, we don't, we can't import it. And the question is, what do you do when that happens? What do you do when clearly one of, there's no dependency set um, that provides that class? So we have here our dependencies, and presenter toolbar is not one of them. It's not included in any of them. So we say add module dependency, and we search presenter. And then do a dot. We'll wait a bit. And you can see there, presenter dot toolbar. It's right there, utilities API. Click OK. No problem at all. And so we say add import. Now we can import because we have the module that provides that particular class. Uh, implement our abstract methods. And there we go. And here is a method that has to be implemented. Let's see. Now we're also told here. Uh, so we need to specify whether, you know, at what point, whether this is lazy or not. And so whether these annotations are used or not, false or true. So we're saying that. At startup, these annotations will be read, and so this icon will be used. And so now we can do our coding here. So here we return the new Google panel. Turn new. 
I turn your Google panel and we're delegating the action to the toolbar. So we're not going to see an actual menu item, we're going to see a toolbar. Delegate to toolbar. So what we're doing here is what you're saying is um, our action is going to be visualized via a toolbar instead of the default menu item or the default toolbar button. Instead of that, we're going to have a toolbar. So now we run it. Okay, so we're seeing our toolbar button, and that is because we should say lazy is false. So lazy is false, and we won't have an icon. And so now we run it again. You see here, lazy is false, and here is a complete description of what that is. If you're confused, just read the Java doc. It's right there. So lazy is false is described in the Java doc. Okay, so now the uh, IDE starts up again. And here is our toolbar. So NetBeans rocks. And we are using um, in our panel, you see here, action performed. When is an action performed invoked in a text field? When you press enter. So we press enter, and you can see the browser opens, and the NetBeans rocks search is put in, and we get our results. That's it. You've learned how to use the uh, quick start in NetBeans IDE 8.1. The only thing that's different is that we had to include the utilities API, which is because in NetBeans IDE 8.1, some classes were moved around into different modules so that the presenter toolbar um, class was moved into the utilities API module. And the main lesson from the screencast is that whenever you you, you can't import a class from one of the NetBeans APIs. You simply go to add module dependency and you, and you search for the class that you would like to make use of. And then you can say, OK, and then that module providing the class is added into the list of libraries for that module. That's it. I hope you've learned something and that you can now use the tutorial in NetBeans IDE 8.1.